Okay. Let's do a long game. Got a stronger opponent this time since I haven't played that many games, so your uh, rating jumps around a lot. Okay, so he's playing the Rui Lopez where he pushes my bishop back. So I can take the knight, but that's usually worse if they know what they're doing, so it's better to do this. He might play a knight here. Oh, he pushes my knight back again immediately. So I really only have the one option. Okay. So here, I think I can castle. So if I castle, he takes that. I put my rook here. It's bad for him. So I'm going to go ahead and castle. He's thinking about taking the knight, maybe, or the pawn, maybe. Shouldn't do it. What else can he do? He can put a pawn here. Hmm. Okay, so in this case, um, I mean, obviously he's starting to look at this pawn. So if I put my rook here and he puts his knight here, he's double attacking this, which could be awkward to defend. Um, he's got one, two, three on this square. So I could bring up this pawn, but then does he just take that pawn? It's possible he just takes it. So I might have to back that pawn up. Yeah, let's just do that. It's a safe move. He can't take this pawn at all. Okay. So he's allowed me to pin. So maybe I should. What else could I do? I could put my bishop here, but that seems bad. That doesn't really do anything. I mean, he could take my um, knight at any time by playing his pawn here. And I would have nowhere to go. So maybe I could play this pawn up. And just save my... Uh... But if I do that and he does that, then where am I going to put this bishop? So is it better to be aggressive and put my bishop here? I put my bishop here and he puts my pawn here. I put my bishop here. He's probably not going to chase me back. If I put my bishop here, he puts his knight here. I have to give up my bishop. I kind of want to play it. I feel like it's more aggressive. Wow. So does he want to pin me back? Let's stop that. I don't want to be pinned in return. So now... Okay. So I'm okay with this move. I really doubt he's going to go for it, eh? Okay, so this is the kind of time when you can think about sacrificing. But does it work? If I take with my bishop, he takes with the pawn, I take with the knight. Do I have enough firepower to get a checkmate? Might be too slow. If I take with the knight, he takes with the pawn, I take with the bishop. I mean, the problem is I can't bring my queen to either of these squares while he has his knight here. So maybe sacrificing doesn't work here. No. I don't want to waste too much time thinking about a sacrifice. It probably doesn't work. I'm just going to hope that his king is now so open that I can do something. Like, somehow attack this pawn. my next move, I either want to play this pawn up or this pawn up, if he'll let me. 
Because I'm still concerned about him taking my bishop, even though. Wow. He's playing crazy aggressive here. Okay. He can put his knight there, which I will admit is kind of annoying. However, if he doesn't move his knight, yeah, this wins a piece. Because this guy is hanging. Oh, well. Right, I don't want to take just yet, because he'll then win my... Okay, so I get to do that. Now he has to move, and then I can take this piece. Or he moves this piece, and I take that piece. I think he's just lost a piece here. So now I'm just taking this, right? And bingo bango, up clean piece. He has trouble defending this pawn. I think his only move is king or queen to one of these squares. And I'm starting to really put pressure on this pawn. Yeah. Okay, so I think I want to get my knight into the action. Let's get my knight going. I guess he's going to come here, and then I can think about putting this pawn here. Well, there was queens lined up on that diagonal. So maybe that doesn't work just yet. Do I... Hmm. Maybe I want to get my king off of this diagonal. I don't really mind if he takes here. I could take with the knight, or I could even take with the pawn and open up the line for my bishop. So I think maybe I just want to do this simple-ish move. And that might allow me to put that pawn here. I don't know if that's a good move or not, but it's a move. Now if he takes, okay, so the pros of taking with the knight is that I'm hitting this guy and he has to probably do something about that. The cons are I'm moving him away from the king, and I think I might want my knight over on this side instead. So maybe I'll just take this way. And then maybe next move I could put this pawn here and start to harass this bishop that way. Or I could play this pawn up. Although then he puts his pawn up, maybe. I gotta be careful here. Like I'm up, I'm up a pawn, but. Or sorry, I'm up a piece, but, you know, since I'm not, what? I guess he can do that. But the problem is he's pinned. So I don't think that works, because I just do this. Because he can't move that bishop, because he's pinned on the rook here. Hmm. 
Do I just take it? I mean, I'm up five points. Trades generally benefit me here. Now this knight can't move, or this rook can't move because of the fact that he's pinned to this uh, pawn here. And he's going to say, I don't care. So again, like I feel like my opponent played really fast. Like he, he had more than 15 minutes when he resigned. So like maybe I think these things, think these things through a bit. Now he was too aggressive with his pawns, I would say. This move, oops. Yeah. This bishop move. That seems weird to me for some reason. Maybe it's not weird, but... That move, too, seems slow. So again, you see all his pawns here. Just doesn't... Some doesn't look right about the whole configuration. And then this was just a blunder. He didn't see that um, my queen's lined up with his knight there. So that's losing a piece. I'll admit that I did not see that he was double attacking this pawn. However, it turns out that it was just a mistake. Because then he's losing another, he's losing a piece. He gets a pawn. He's down five points, and then allowing me to take on that five. Like he's, and then none of these make sense really. And yeah, he just doesn't have a move. Like, what can you do? You can do that. And then I just start to threaten my pawns. Now his king's cut off. I'm just going to gobble up all his pawns while he sits and there's nothing he can do. He can never push this. If he pushes that, I can take there. And I might even think of just blockading it. Um, so he doesn't, he doesn't have a move. Anyway, GG.